Hi, I'm Lorena Lightheart, Product Manager with Whitmix Corporation, and today we'd like to talk about why do we need byte records, Facebook transfers, and semi-adjustable articulators. On a recent dental forum, a dentist wrote in that was preparing to do a six-unit anterior restoration and wanted to know if a face bow was needed for this type of case. The majority of respondents said yes, they recommended using a face bow to capture the face bow records, and many added a comment about, do you feel lucky? But really, how would we define the successful result for this type of case? Well, the first thing we'd look at would be the aesthetics or the looks. Obviously, we want the teeth to look nice, and we wouldn't want to be grinding on the new restoration. We know that the majority of people have some type of cant, so we'd want to make sure the length and the tooth size was correct. And it's been stated that if the midline is off by three millimeters, it would be noticeable. The next thing we want to look at is the fit or the function. Every cusp and groove on a tooth has a purpose, and we want to be sure that the patient's able to talk, eat, and smile without their teeth hitting. The teeth are going to follow a path to flow in and out of contact, so we'd want that to be in harmony. The last area we might look at is long-lasting. Whatever caused the issue with the natural teeth, we'd like to be able to know and address because we know the restorations may not be as strong as the natural teeth, and there's a chance that the issue could continue on if not addressed, and we'd hate for a patient to crack or break or lose a new restoration within a few months of receiving them. So the ideal goal is that our teeth be in harmony, and we use bite records, baseball transfers, and semi-adjustable articulators to allow us to work the case in advance on those models. So the articulator is going to be a framework that holds the patient's models, and the Facebook record is going to allow us to pay, place those models correctly in the right position on the articulator. And then the bite records are going to help us put the models together in the correct position. So once we have the models mounted correctly, we would be able to successfully see if we could work the case on those models. If you'd like more information on the subject, we have a white paper that you can download from the URL that is shown on your screen. Dentistry is fun, and especially when we know in advance how the case is going to work out. And we know in advance how the case is going to work out if we've been able to successfully make it happen on the models in advance. And so then when we're confident with those results, we can look forward to placing those restorations and seeing that patient smile. Well, thank you very much for listening in on why bite records, Facebook transfers, and semi-adjustable articulators, why to use them. If you have any additional questions, my name is Lorena Lightheart, and I can be reached at lightheart at whitmix.com. We also have product information and educational videos on our website at www.whitmix.com, or you can call the numbers on your screen and ask to speak to our educational or technical team members. And we hope you're having fun in dentistry.